Welcome to Saturday. It was relatively painless for uh, for anyone who's uh, in New Zealand at the moment. It's level three. We've had a couple of COVID cases pop up back in uh, over the weekend, over the weekend, over the week rather. And um, I think this is about day five or something at the moment. So luckily we're level three for us means we can still go to the hardware store if you're a trade customer so shot down to Bunnings and got my plaster in case we went up a lockdown level um, which basically means that I would have been stuck at home um, so yeah had quite a busy week got heaps done haven't recorded much unfortunately just been absolutely so so busy, so tired. Um, so I think yesterday I ticked over 600 hours in six weeks. So I've still got my sniffle. Um, so I'm gonna head to the bathroom place now, grab the toilet roll holder, and then um, get a coffee if there's somewhere that's open that'll serve me one. And then go past the pharmacy, and then home. Give you guys an update on how the house looks. Still an absolute cracker of a fucking day. It's the middle of winter. How's this for the middle of fucking winter? It's like 15 degrees or something, not a cloud in the sky. Everyone's outside mowing lawns and shit like that. It's fucking primo. Oh, it stinks like glue in here. So we've had a huge week. Um, it's kind of been a mixture of um, Dad and I and Michael for a little bit um, and then New Zealand got smashed into level, well Auckland got smashed into level 3 lockdown. I haven't cleaned a thing up out here, it's an absolute trash heap but... Fuck I'm excited to move in. Um, yeah we got smashed in level 3 lockdown and shit kind of got turned upside down for a few days so... It's looking a hell of a lot better. Could do with a clean it, but that's a problem for Ooh, later. So at least it's weather tight. Needs a little bit of paint and still needs a tidy up and whatnot, but the bulk of the work, wish I'd filmed it, but I've just been so absolutely hammered. I haven't had time to deal with charging the GoPro or anything. So uh, last night, Michael and I got this wall here up. So this is probably the room I think we'll move into. It's the only um, fully closed room at this stage. Um, plumber came, got the loo in. We've, um, we've got the tile and slate down on the floor, so we'll have to lift the toilet at some stage anyway. I got this back sheet of jib on um, during the week as well. Um, it's one thing, if anyone's gonna do their own jib and you're gonna be on your own, go vertical. It was even for like there's a hundred mil cutout obviously down the bottom for the waist and behind the cistern there's like a 30 mil 
roughly cut out, as well as the window, as well as getting the sheet under the lintel for the door, and that wasn't too unmanageable just for one person. Um, but going horizontal, you can't do anything on your own. So, um, you can't really tell because there's just shit everywhere, so I'll sort this out shortly, but um, that sheet across the top, single sheet, sheet under the bottom, single sheet, means your only join is the horizontal taper either side. If you join above a window, um, and I'm pretty sure that if you live in New Zealand, the jib site guide is actually available online for free, but if you join up here, it'll pretty much always crack. Um, you can join above a window, but then same thing, you, your vertical joins become a little bit more obvious, so um, that wall's on. Michael and I are going to get this guy done this morning, but because it's short and it's a 2-2, it's right at the back of the stack, so um, when he gets here, we'll have a wiggle with that. We've got this toilet in. Um, obviously, once it's to height and sorted out, we'll deal with that. Um, shower tray in, so another bonus there is that once we um, once we get everything else done, we can start putting all the jib on the walls in here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much good to move in. I'm gonna tidy this wall. Um, I think I'll build the wardrobe probably in the next week or so. It's just not gonna happen in time. So my goal is to jib this bottom sheet, jib this wall, on this side, not the not the actual ensuite side, because that needs Aqualine. Um, and then get as much shit out of here as we possibly can. We'll move the bed, our dresses, um, most of the kitchen's already moved. We're gonna move the dining table, because Jesse's gonna have to work from home because of um, level three COVID. Um, so dining table, I guess, will sit here. She can work from that. Um, I'll see if I can get my computer in as well, but um, the TV, I presume, will be at least Sunday, best case. Um, so yeah, I'll stop my uh, my unintelligible ramblings. Anyone who's still watching, thanks for following along, because it's been a pretty big six, I think it's about six weeks, six weeks for me. Um, it's definitely at the point that it's full burnout, so I'm um, probably going to take the next week off and just do nothing. But uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get some shit done.